What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are, the champs of Kanto. Yes, we are the mo most powerful trainer in the whole wide region, until Generation 2 and all that stuff. And, uh, well, it is time for us to do a little bit of side questing to finish off this game right here. So, in this episode, I'm actually going to be showing you guys the in-game trades. I believe there's about like seven or eight in-game trades that you can get right here. One that's pretty cool, and then another one that's just pretty redundant. I mean, yeah, we literally had to trade a Pokemon Blue in-game trade Pokemon to Yellow so it can be traded back. That's kind of weird. It's kind of stupid. I don't know. So let's go right ahead and fly straight to Pewter City because that's where our first trade is going to be. Yes, guys, I did switch out some Pokemon. I did trade some Pokemon. Uh, off screen so I can get the Pokemon I need to trade for you know this portion right here of this episode and uh, Well, our first trade is gonna be right here close to the Viridian Forest in Diglett's Cave It's at Route 2 I believe. Yes, Route 2. So we need a Pokemon with cut Obviously we got Tangela right here and Tangela will be uh, It will be traded eventually, but if you go right here You'll be able to find a house and uh, this house is home to an individual that will be trading you something very, very special. Talk to this guy. I'm looking for a Clefairy. Want to trade for Mr. Mime? Yes, we do. We got ourselves a Clefairy. And uh, here it is. We are trading for Clefairy. Now, remember, guys, these Pokemon that you trade for, they will have the same level as the Pokemon you trade yourself to them. Meaning, this level 11 Clefairy will be traded for a level 11 uh, Mr. Mime. Now, for some odd reason, if you trade a level 56 uh, Clefairy, you're going to get a level 56 Mr. Mime. So, you know, you can do whatever the heck you want right here. So, here we are getting ourselves a Mr. Mime. A pretty rare Pokemon. Very, very rare. Now, if you pick a Pokemon uh, red or blue, you can, uh, you can get this Pokemon for an Abra. And as you can see, there it is. Mr. Mime looking pretty cool. Yes, we got a Mr. Mime. Hey, thanks. So let's go ahead and take a look at Mr. Mime right here. His name is Miles. And I think in the other games it's called uh, Marcel. Named after the famous Mime. And look at this. A psychic type Pokemon. Has confusion and barrier. Very good starting moves right here. Now, if you guys can see, there is a Pokemon here by the name of Mark. If you guys don't know, this is a Lickitung that I got in Pokemon Blue. You can only trade for this Pokemon if you get yourself uh, a Slowbro. Now, like I said, it's pretty redundant how you you have to trade this Pokemon to Pokemon Yellow because the only way you can get yourself a Lickitung is through Pokemon Blue or Red. You can actually get it in the in the or not the Lost Cave, but the Cerulean Cave and all that stuff. But I had no time for that, so I, I got myself Mark right here. Whatever, I'm not really going to be doing much right here. So, let's go right ahead and find the next trade. We do have three more Pokemon right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys for the next trade. Okay, guys. So, here we are in the Cinnabar Islands again. And now, in Cinnabar Island, you can actually get two Pokemon in an in-game trade. That is a Muck and a Rhydon. Now, off-screen, I did go and capture a, a another Kangaskhan. That way, we can actually, you know, trade it for the Pokemon that we need right here. So, let's see. If you talk to this guy, you can trade him a Golduck for a Rhydon right here. So, let's go ahead and trade this Golduck. And get ourselves a, a super underleveled Rhydon. Now, you can always go to the Cerulean Cave, guys, and capture yourself a Rhyhorn. You know, and it could be at level 50. Uh, that's one benefit. Um, the other one, you can get this one right here. And you can get the benefit of, uh, what was it, the, the experience boost. Kind of like what I have for Torpedo right here. So, here we have Rhydon being transferred over. And uh, look at that. Okay, look at that. We're gonna get ourselves a right on. And uh, one of the missions right here, guys, is to finish or to complete the uh, the Pokedex in Pokemon Yellow. And look at that. We got ourselves a right on. Pretty cool. Very awesome Pokemon. And uh, well, look at that. Another Pokemon has been received. Thanks. Now the second Pokemon you can trade for is a Kangaskhan for a Muck. And this is not the guy for that. Now for now for me. I don't think Muck is more, or I don't think Muck is rarer than uh, than the Kangaskhan, and it took me quite a bit to actually get that Kangaskhan. So 
Let's see, not this guy right here. Let's go right here, and this is the metronome guy. I'm trying to find the person who trades me that muck. Who has a muck? Right here in this lab, so let's go right ahead. And I think it's this guy right here. Hold on. Yes, he is looking for a Kangaskhan. Let's go ahead and trade him for a muck. So there it is. We are connecting the cable yet again. And this is the the second Kangaskhan that I captured off screen. Like I said, guys, many of these uh, safaris on Pokemon are just too tough to actually capture, uh, especially with Chansey, which is the rarest Pokemon of them. And well, look at that, sending them uh, all the way to the other to the other trainer now. Easiest way to get a, a Chansey is through Pokemon Red and Blue, not through the Safari Zone, but through the Cerulean Cave. It's much more easier right there. And well, here we have another transfer, and just like that, we get ourselves a Muck. A pretty cool Muck, and I, I do not know what the nickname of this Pokemon would be. So there we go. And just like that, we got ourselves two more Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. So one of them is named Buffy. This guy is the Rhydon. It's both ground and rock type, and it does have a pretty good attack right here. Good defense, but its speed really, really isn't good. And as you can see, it does have Horn Attack, Stomp, Tail Whip, and Fury Attack. Now, the next Pokemon, we got Sticky, and it's only a Poison type Pokemon. Now, if it were up to me, I'd be nicknaming this Pokemon Dump Truck, just like my Pokemon Moonwalk there that I'd never gotten to complete. And it does have pretty good uh, moves, Pound, Disable, and, uh, and a Fart Attack right here. So, we got another Pokemon to actually trade for, so I'll be right back. I'll be switching out some Pokemon just so we can trade some more Pokemon right here. <laughs> Completely forgot about this one, guys, but if you talk to this young lady right here, she is looking for a Growlithe, and you can actually trade it for a uh, Dugong, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to send over our extra uh, Growlithe right here. And we're going to be traded for a uh, pretty good water type Pokemon. So there it is. Say goodbye to non Kiss. And yes, we're going to be getting some pretty cool Pokemon right here. I don't know. I think it is a pretty good Pokemon. But look at that. Relit has, has been sent to uh, the trainer. And well, here comes the Dugong itself. Yeah, buddy. Okay, come on. Bring on the Dugong. Now remember... These in-game trades, are they take a while. They really do take a while just because it's, you know, in-game and all that stuff. And it's the same way in real life. Believe it or not, I still have a, a, a link cable for some of these trades and all that stuff. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Growlithe or a Dugong for a Growlithe right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Dugong. And this one is named Cezanne. Cezanne. And just like that, it is both a Water and Ice type Pokemon. Headbutt, Growl, and Aurora Beam. Yes, three very good moves right there for you. Okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the next route where we can actually find, uh, well, the next Pokemon trade right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in Fuchsia City, and now we're going to be going straight to Route 18 so we can actually find, uh, well, somebody that we can actually trade for. And I believe this is... I guess this is the area right here? Maybe not. I could be wrong. You know what? I'm probably wrong right here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. Look at this. That's the Professor's Aid. So, we're going to have to go the other way around right here. I always get these two places confused, guys. My bad. It has been a while. So, let's go right ahead and grab that bicycle right there. And mosey on over to Route 18. Like I said, guys, off screen, I've been doing a lot of capturing of these Pokemon just so we can get this episode going and well here we are route 18 near the bicycle or the cycling road and you're going to be going in here and this is normally what you where you uh, actually trade for a lick of tongue in red and blue but if you go right here this guy is looking for a tangla he wants to trade for a parasect so that's exactly what we have a tangla and for me that's kind of another trade that doesn't really make any sense i mean there, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Pokemon in Generation One that you could actually that would be good replacements for these trade Pokemon. I mean, Red Blue, you literally trade a Nidorino for a Nidoran, or a Nidorino for a Nidorina, and a Nidoran male for a female. That that to me did not make any sense right there. So I don't know. I don't know what the uh, I don't know what the creators of Pokemon were thinking when they were doing this, but 
there could have been a lot more Pokemon that you can actually capture or trade for, like, you know, a Scyther or a, <laughs> or a, uh, what was it, uh, his counterpart, completely forgot his name, so there we go, guys, we got ourselves a Parasect, and let's go ahead and see the nickname on this Pokemon right here, and its name is Spike, it's a pretty good nickname right there, so as you can see, guys, Spike, the Parasect Pokemon, it's Bug and Grass, and, well, it does have Scratch, Stun Sport, and Leech Life, Again, guys, these are some Pokemon that have the same level. So the next Pokemon we're going to be trading is Mark at Route 11. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, Route 11. And, well, this is the, uh, I believe this is the actual location where you can actually trade Mark the Lickitung. And there he is, I believe. And he's looking for a Lickitung. He wants to trade for a Doug Trio. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and trade Mark right here. Now... Here's the thing, guys. Again, these are two Pokemon that are very, very redundant when you trade because you can always capture a Doug Trio in the Diglett's Cave. Literally, that's what you can do. And, yeah, like I said, I don't know what the creators were thinking when, when they were picking the Pokemon to trade and all that stuff. There are a lot of Pokemon that you can actually trade for. Uh, Tauros. I mean, Pinsir, that's the Pokemon I was trying to name. Scyther, Porygon, for crying out loud. Hell, even one of the Dragon-type Pokemon. I mean, these are some of these Pokemon that you could actually... That you, that, you know, they would have been nice to actually have. So, as you can see, we got ourselves Doug Trio right here. And, well, this happens to be our second Doug Trio because we actually went in in-game and captured a Doug Trio. Thought that we could actually do that. So let's go right ahead and take a look at our next Pokemon right here. And his name is Gurio. And it does have the dig attack. But as you can see, it's at level 37. It does have some pretty nice uh, moves like slash, sand attack, dig, and growl. Now, the next Pokemon we're going to be trading is Cubone. Now, this is the special one right here. So I'll be right back with you guys right here. Alrighty guys, so here we are close to the daycare center and if you go into the underground path right here You'll be able to find this individual in red and blue I believe you get to trade that Nidoran for a Nidoran, a Nidoran male for a Nidoran female or Nidorino for a Nidorina Correct me if I'm wrong guys, but in Pokemon yellow you talk to this guy. He's like hey, do you have a Cubone? I want to trade it for a Machoke. That's a very very good trade. You go ahead and trade that Pokemon right here and something very special actually happens. This is something pretty, uh... This is actually... To me, this is actually a very huge positive on the creators' part because, well, you know, a lot of us didn't really have the, the whole cable, the link cable in real life, so... At least getting one of, one of the trade Pokemon right here in-game in would it was nice, if, if you guys know what I mean. So here we go, the trainer is actually trading, and here comes this Machoke right here. And... If you were playing Pokemon Yellow back in the day, this is like the first time that you ever experienced an, uh, a, a trade evolution right here. So there it is. We got Machoke. And, well, just like that, Ricky, the Machoke, starts evolving. And this is very, very big right here because Machamp happens to be a very, very powerful fighting type Pokemon. So as you can see, we get ourselves a Machamp. And just like that... We actually win that trade right there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the newest Pokemon right here, Ricky the Machamp. As you can see, it's not that fast, but its attack is through the roof right here. And yeah, it does have some pretty good physical attacks. It would come in it would actually come in handy for later battles, such as, you know, Bruno and all that stuff. I don't know when you'll get uh when you'll actually get yourself a Cubone, but that right there would have been an actual, uh, a very good uh, trade if it was a little earlier. So, that is it right there, guys. In the next episode, we're going to start our legendary bird hunting, starting with Articuno. I am dreading that one. Then Zapdos, and then Moltres, and then from there, I believe we got ourselves a battle that we have to attend to, and then two other legendary Pokemon to actually capture right here. So, Stay tuned, guys. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walker. See you guys.